Hey, Leo, we just witnessed a beautiful Waikiki sunset here, and I'm here with Marcus Erickson, who just um, took the junk here across uh, the ocean from San Francisco with Joel, He what was, what's Joel's name? It's Joel Pascal. He's a, a marine scientist, and he used to work for NOAA pulling fishing nets off the Hawaiian Islands. And um, the entire... Uh, flotation of this vessel that you created was made of plastic bottles, was it not? It's all junk. 15,000 plastic bottles, 30 sailboat masts, and an airplane, a Cessna 310 aircraft. That's our cabin. Right behind us. Right behind us, yes, yeah, sitting here. Now, of, of important uh, news to our viewers, you and uh, Joel were the last people to see Roz, our hero of our story, um, and, and you met for a high seas uh, sort of exchange. Could you tell us about it and her condition? Uh, sure. Well, I had spoken with Roz a week prior to her departure, just to say good luck. And But halfway through my trip, I asked uh, via email uh, our blog writer, how's your Roz doing? Well, she's 200 miles from you. So he said, oh, great, let's meet up. But just to find, just to, uh, to make things more urgent, I found out from her mother, who I called in England. I said, you know, hello, Miss, Miss, Miss Savage. How's your daughter? And she said, well, she's not far from you, but she needs water. So we actually had an extra water maker with us. And Roz had tons of food. Lara bars, expedition meals, turkey jerky. So we like made sure we met each other. But it was like two snails playing chase. She's rowing. We're under sail power only. It took us like four to five days to finally just moving slowly and catch up. She just hurled over three bags of food to us. All this stuff. She came on board. Gave so, so there was no there was no hooking up and you guys didn't dance and drink and None of that. We, we had two hours to sit there and talk about, I mean, no small talk, just down to the nuts and bolts of how's life? What's it like being alone, being bored? And here's your water maker, here's your water, here's your food. Then Joel jumped in the water and speared a mahi-mahi. Really? We had fresh fish. Roz ate like four bowls. <laughs> Joel kept making it. She was hungry, but she ate. She was, she was amazing. And, 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 and it was uh, very fortuitous because she was essentially running out of water, although she did not tell her podcast audience. She didn't mention that both her water makers busted. Uh, she had planned to make the whole way to Hawaii on, on half rations, but it's much warmer down here. So we gave her, we had about 10 gallons of water and a, and a brand new water maker, but we were desperate for food. So she helped us out just as much. Now, uh, what is her mental condition like uh, from your amateur, you know, not officially? Does she look healthy? Does she look, does she have any, you're the only people to see her for 100 days. Does she have any injuries, anything like that? She was fit as a fiddle. We were actually wondering, because we knew she, she had a British accent, oh, is, she, is she more like the queen or like Lady Di? What's she going to look like? And she's this little petite blonde. She's like uh, Guinevere with arms, arms of Popeye. She was amazing. Good spirits and good health, just making her way across the ocean. We look forward to seeing her in a few days. And tell me again about the mission and your shared mission with Roz about plastics in the ocean. Uh, we are, well, our, the foundation I represent, the Al Galita Foundation, has been studying plastic for 10 years. Mm -hmm. We first went 10 years ago out to sea, and we are finding that over the last 10 years, it's an exponential growth in trash out to sea. It's, it's, we have to get the world thinking about what to do about it. The bans on plastics, the fees, the taxes are working. Recycling programs, not so much. But the bans on the most disposable single-use plastics, bags and bottles, it's working. Roz is behind it. We're, we're doing research. Now we're trying to get the world more attentive by doing this stunt. It's working. And um, uh, we expect to see Roz in a few days, um, either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And uh, will, you, will you be here at that time? Or? Oh, without a doubt. I yeah. can't wait to see, see Roz. And welcome her home. Well, thanks very much, Marcus. We appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Back to you, Leo. Hey, come catch Roz's signature. That's where Roz signed our boat. Bon voyage, Roz.